All right, moving along, we're on uh, step 12, and this is actually pretty simple. You're going to get uh, your three M325 screws. Get through them there, and you're going to grab your um, X-axis stepper motor. Just label it X. What does it say there? Turn it up there for you. X axis motor. And you're going to grab this white brace piece. It's got the um, kind of like a half circle cut out there. And all you have to do is place this on here and drop your screws down in there. So um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's assembled. Okay, moving on to step 13. Um, here's the pieces you're going to need. Uh, the part we put together in step 12. Um, this sliding end piece. Two end caps. You're going to need two screws of uh, M318 and some M3, two M3 nuts. And you're going to use the um, the smooth rods, but I just placed the threaded rods out for a size comparison. So they're not the exact same size, but the other rods are different size. So you want to grab the rods that are almost the same size as those threaded rods. And uh, once you get those pieces ready, we can uh, press on. Okay, first we're going to put on those uh, caps there. And this is um, where you're going to need the hardware. Kind of zoom in for you up here. Just put your... Uh, Drop your screw in. I'll show you on this other one in case it didn't show up. See, there's just a little, well, it's all blurred, a little screw hole right there in between the two big circles. Um, that's all there is, and all I'm going to do is thread the nut on the bottom of that. Alright, we got this piece done here. All I did was, uh, well, it's kind of blurry there, but put that top piece on and uh, drop it down here. And you can see I just put the nut, well, sorry about the focus on that, but uh, you can see how the nut goes, the screw goes from the top down, nuts on the bottom. And you want to make it loose so that this piece can swivel around. And you just want to do that on both sides there. Alright, next we're just going to take one of the rods. Drop it through the small outside hole. Place it through the linear bearing. And it drops to the outside hole on the bottom plate there. And you can just set this down on the micro switch down here. Um, and then top it off by swinging uh, this over the top of the cap there. I'll show you a couple things on that. Um, if you remember early on I was emphasizing make sure that hole stood outside on that plate that's why that's where that goes and it just sits I'll show you on the other side Oops. it just sits on uh, no you didn't I thought you'd have a better shot the stepper motor base right there um, covers the base of that hole so the rod doesn't keep falling through and nothing too much exciting going on there. Just slid it through that piece and then close the cap on top there. Now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side um, with that piece and that rod. And we'll just again slide it to that outside hole right there. And then we'll finish off by sliding the cap cover over the hole. Uh, I guess I'll let you watch me do this. It goes pretty quick. Outside hole. Linear bearing. Gently bring it down. And my shadow is covering up the hole so I can't see. There we go. And I just dropped it down there. It's almost flush up here. And the cap's a little tight. I need to loosen that up. But then I just got to swing that cap over. And, uh, 
that should be it for step 13. Okay, this next step is uh, actually simple, yet there's uh, some issues with it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All you got to do is drop the threaded rod down the tube there, thread it through the top there, and put it in with an Allen wrench screw on the bottom there. Now, that looks pretty simple, but uh, when you get it, sorry about that bump button there, uh, when you get it, um, this one, see how far down it is? Um, and then this one's kind of adjusted to the correct spot. And I'll show you what I did to achieve this. Um, one thing I do is I grab the short threaded rod to use as a kind of like a base deal to kind of get you set in the right spot. And I'll show you how I do that. Oh, I loosen the Allen wrench screws on here so that this could come off. Also, another thing I want to show you. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. On the on the stepper motor, there's a flat bevel, flat shaved side. So you want to know that so that when you're putting on this, you want to have one screw going to that flat side. Um, so let me back out. So all I did was... I, let's see if this will show up. There's a little... Hey, you probably can't see it on camera, but th there's a fill spot in there. In other words, this hole, oh, you should see it there. See how small that hole is there and how big that one is? That small hole travels up to about right there, and it's just the size of the shaft on the stepper motor. The other hole is larger because um, it's got to fit this larger screw in there. See? Um, with that said... I drop this, paying attention to the flat side, and then, um, let's see if we can do this. I drop this and I use this piece because it's nice and small. It's easier on the other side because that piece isn't in the way. But I just lift this up all the way and then tighten this down. And see how that gives me a nice uh, correct height on that. So that's my little trick there. So let me do that and then I'll come right back. Okay, so now you can see how much higher I got that by using that um, small threaded rod. Is kind of like a, 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 a bottom out guide, I would call that. So the next part is pretty easy. You just drop your rod in. Bring it down to your brass deal here, and, and uh, you just, this one's going really easy. You just dropped right in without me having to do anything. The other side one, I had to thread it by hand a little bit. So, there it bottomed out, and now I want to show you kind of like uh, another piece. I'm going to raise the stand up a little bit so I can get a better angle on this. Okay, hopefully this shows up. If I zoom into the top here. Um, the threaded bolt is actually below. It's actually below the plastic there, and my personal preference is, is I want it up into that hole, but not touching the edges. And uh, the way I'm going to achieve that is by just gently lifting the rod. And you have to probably screw it. To the correct height that I want, and then tightening the the Allen wrench screws down here. Anyway, you get the idea there. Now, if you look at the top it's coming up into the um, into that cutout there and it ends up looking about like like that there so that's just my little tip and you want to make sure you can loosen those screws and adjust that rod and keep tightening it you don't want this rubbing against the side of it 
and it kind of wobbles around there anyways but you just don't want it pushing with pressure to any side of the acrylic because it'll as that screw turns it'll wear out the acrylic um, some people have this below just kind of wobbling around out there um, and that's just a personal preference as far as I know and uh, that's how I'm going to do one thing you want to make sure is that the that the screws are actually gripping the threaded rod and uh, anyways I just feel that's a good way to do that and I hope that made sense and uh, with that I believe that should be the end of uh, step number 14 I just need to tighten the screws up and make sure everything's centered and again minimize the wobble on that um, z-axis uh, threaded rod so that should finish up assembly step number 14 for you